Hey everybody, welcome back to Gestures Don't Work Here. That was suggested by Skank Tease. And right now I'm gonna pick the winner of September's 420 Club giveaway, which was the uh, Jazz Dispensary comic, Cosmic Stash, a four disc vinyl collection compiling some of the best jazz and funk with each disc themed after a different strain, Sour Diesel, Purple Funk, OG Kush, and Astral Traveling. More info on this at jazzdispensary.com. Gabe, come on in with the names, about 200 names in here, I'm guessing, something like that. Let's mix them up real good. Let's make this fair. And the winner is John Gibbons. John Gibbons. Here, take that and get it to John, magically. And also I'm happy to announce that for October's giveaway, I'll be giving away a Loot Crate box, the DX, the larger Loot Crate box, and it's gonna be signed by me, and you can become a member of the 420 Club this month and be eligible for the giveaway. Sign up at patreon.com slash gettingdug, and you also get $3 off any new Loot Crate subscription by going to lootcrate.com slash getdug and using the promo code getdug Loot Crate is $13.95 a month, and Loot Crate DX, which is this baby right here, is $44.99 a month. New theme each month. This month's theme is horror. Here's a, a Loot Crate from, I don't know what the theme was, but just to give you an idea of the kind of stuff that's in here, is this beautiful T-shirt, or not, long sleeve shirt, it's not a T, I guess. Uh, the DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future, a Mad Max art, Mad Max Fury Road art book, and a, a pin, there's always a pin. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know what that is. And, <laughs> and it's all in a lovely uh, bag that's also included. It's got the uh, Transformers logo on there. All right, so join up with the 420 Club and enjoy the show. Blast off, we're back in the spaceman. It's been too long, but it's where it's a good reason we're back because we've got uh, two great guests. Uh, you've seen her before on the show, Jessie Mae Peluso, but also joining us, first time ever, Melissa Etheridge what? is here. Woo -hoo! Can't believe it. I'm pumped. Thank right? you so here much for saying yes. This is it's tough for us to get people of your caliber. It is important to me. I decided a long time ago when I realized what good medicine this was. Mm -hmm. When I realized uh, 12 years ago, because I use it as medicine, because I went through breast cancer and chemo and stuff. When I realized the good medicine, I said, I'm going to advocate for this. I'm going to step up. I'm going it, to, it's a lot like uh, the, the gay movement 20 years ago, you know, that, that you just got to step up and say, hey, I'm a smoker. I, I do this. This is part of my life. And I, I function and I'm yeah. well, and so I've I've done almost every show that I can find like this, and I've you know. Oh, so you've already show. smoked with Snoop? I've <laughs> <laughs> actually be real and action. Oh, in his car. In be his real, car. you get in the car. Yeah, that's yeah. intense. Did smoke box in the car. Yeah, yes. Bucket not with Snoop. List. Not with Snoop. With be real does in his car. Oh. Yeah, be you should real do be real. So it's uh, yeah, it's really cool. That's fun. So and you were the you were the. It's a little easier to breathe on this show. Like it's not as the smoke isn't as trapped in. We've got a nice sized room. Yeah, and it's 19 minutes after the hour, which means it's almost 4:20. Somewhere. Oh yeah. Specifically, uh, you know, our friends in the Central Time Zone. You know, Texas and Illinois and uh, some of those states that might uh, might go red in a few weeks. Aye, so aye, aye. less said about them, the better. <laughs> or Cheeto. They should all turn the color no. of, the, of the candidate. I, I think it's going to be a ridiculous landslide. I think that it's we're going to all feel much better the, the day after. I hope so. Like I mean, you think it's going to be such a, a I knockout? think there's going to be so many people going, oh, no, this yeah. was painful to watch, and America is better than it's that. It's pretty crazy, yeah. It it's just insane. seems like very desperate people want, yeah. want Making a lot some of sort of big change from a president, and that's... Uh, it's tough for anybody to pull off because 
Obama, we saw it. Like he's, the whole political system, they just all fight with each other and don't get anything done. I know this is a very serious thing, but you've got to fuck. <laughs> I got to. I couldn't. A, a, I couldn't. A little the, like lie. Chin fuzz. A little fuzzy. You know, I don't what mean was that? that? Was, Where is that it even? Was a very important <laughs> point. I opened a loot crate earlier. Maybe that fuzz inside. <laughs> what were you doing? Were you making out with an ostrich? <laughs> I don't know. We have you know professional makeup personnel. I don't know how that got missed. <laughs> Uh, so oh. we got to start uh, smoking because it's 20 minutes after the hour, mm -hmm. and uh, the sativa we have, I've loaded all these up already with a sativa called Hawaiian Pineapple, and then we have uh, Indica standing by for those that uh, like that sort of thing. And I brought you oh. one of mine. Nice. I love it. I have yeah, a you're in the game now. Yeah, I have a dispensary up in Santa Cruz and uh, working with some people up in San Jose and Oakland, a lot of Northern California. This is a sativa. It's, this is a sunny day, if you yeah. know my music, uh, in Ain't That Bad. On my last album, This Is Me, I sing, I got a sunny day honey stick, and this is exactly what it That's is. That's dope. Yeah, this it's is a, a sour this diesel. This is powerful now. I want you to know. It's very okay, powerful. well, I, you know, you know we come here to, Spark you know. it up. <laughs> Spark it up. Yeah, let's yep, give it yep, a try. Yep, mark the end. Come, to, come end to my wind dope. Wind, ha, ha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, Back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah. Not perfect. It <laughs> didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, that's, that's awesome. So what fun you look at all your fun things. I'm excited that it's yeah, strong. Here's our poke bowl that we use that as the ashtray. <coughs> oh, that is tasty. Yeah. I do I do like the taste of that. That is really nice. Yeah, and you're getting you're getting into the weed game in an even bigger way uh, than just one dispensary, right? Oh yeah. No, it, it it's a lot of people, a lot of the 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 ones that step forward, you know, the uh, Whoopi Goldberg, um, Willie Nelson, Snoop, Roseanne, Roseanne, you know, yeah. they're they're getting and they're licensing. It's it's all it's it's the wild west out there. Nobody yeah. really because we really can't do this because it's federal. You know, there's no banking. There's no right. So yet we we are pushing it so that it can change. It's, so you have to make these steps first. But there's a lot of licensing going on. I've decided to have a whole vertical from the ground up, it growing. Um, distributing, um, marketing, dispensary, enjoying, enjoying. Damn, you're the in best the game. Music. You are in it. Uh, you're gonna love this name though, <laughs> Etheridge Farms. Oh, come on! Now that's come on. that's a pun we can live with. Mine? Yeah. <laughs> Not there come, not is. come to my window. <laughs> no, no. The classy Etheridge no. Farms. Etheridge Farms. Oh. <laughs> Those cakes are dangerous, man. Sure, yeah. Let's right, just, yeah. Uh, and That's we can a also name. enjoy mm -hmm. the pipes. The main thing is people like to see us smoke throughout the show because they, you know, you don't want them uh, typing them bad out. words about you in the comments. This one's my oh, favorite, Melissa. You know how aggressive some people are about smoking. You no, know, like, not at all. They're like, I could smoke you under the table. Oh, I could smoke it's everybody like, I'm under like, the it's table. It's like, it's not a competition, <laughs> I have smoked, let's I go. I smoked Tommy <laughs> Lee under the table. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, no, I mean, so I have pictures of him sleeping. Like, I win. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's curled up. I win. <laughs> he's not setting off any boat alarms with his junk when he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> boat alarms. It was a horn. It was a boat oh. horn. <laughs> It, that was a while ago. I didn't see that video. No, nobody did. Uh, none of, none I, of us did. I, that's a breach That was before the internet. That was even before the internet. We it's all true. saw it. I still got around. <laughs> He's supposed to be. Yeah. Is he hung? Like, is he really like jacked? Oh, Tommy yeah. Lee. It's good size, I think. Was it? That was like the first sex. I don't have a lot that? to compare to. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I have no idea. I don't know. That's out of my league. That's, that's way funny. Far away. Uh, speaking of gigantic. Uh, <laughs> this is good. Members. Uh, Thank happy you. 41st birthday to Chris Tompkins of Kings Park, New York. Oh, happy birthday, 41. Yeah, that's the first and last birthday shout out we're going to do on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? Do you know him? I don't know. I don't know who it is, who but him? somebody asked me to do it and put it on a blue card. So I was okay. like, okay. Chris Tompkins. <laughs> why, why not? Let's do it. Yeah, good for him, right? Good for you, buddy. The only birthday shout out ever. 41. Celebrate it for a month like all girls do. It's my birthday year. 400 days. Celebrate. 400 days. That's I, that's what I did. I celebrated I like my it. birthday for four Jesse weeks. Jesse May, what do you do? I'm a stand-up comedian, Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd say that sentence. I never thought 
I'd say that sentence. Where do you come you from? You can't fire back with what do you do, <laughs> Melissa where, Etheridge. Where, where do you come from? I hail from Syracuse, New York. Syracuse, born and raised? Born and bred. Yes, oh, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Yes. I and like then, Syracuse. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Dinosaur barbecue. Hello. Oh, come on. You like some wings? Ah. Get in on it. Back when I used to, I don't eat the meat anymore. I only eat fish, but. Uh, I try and stick to the fish, too. But man, was that stuff. When I did, I Finger I actually licking. played, it was like 1988, I came, I played at a somewhere and went to Dinosaur Barbecue because it's open like all night long, It right? is, it's open all night long. And they had live music inside, and I said, get off, and my band and I got on, and we just oh, jammed awesome. inside Dinosaur Barbecue and like tore up their drum set and just left. Can we go and re recreate that? I would love that to. That would be amazing. No, they know I love them. <laughs> Shout out. That would be a lot of fun. Happy birthday, Dinosaur, Dinosaur Barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> 41 years young. Good music, though. Good. Good. We've had... Uh, <laughs> We've had Miss Peluso on the show before and talked to her about her high history, but you're a new guest to the program. Okay. So do you, do you have a story about your first time? How you, how you got into it? What was that? Get down. Just, oh, a yeah. lot of annoying sounds meant to scare the, my friendly like, pothead friends. <laughs> well, it's kind of strange because I, I am a rock star, but I really did not live or, or take the journey of the classic rock star. I, I didn't smoke and I didn't drink. I was very, I had a very no drug policy for, you know, until 2004. Okay. That's why you look amazing. What? That's why you look <laughs> that's, amazing. That's one. That's one reason. But thank you. Thank you. I paced, yeah, I didn't. Because, I mean, I saw it, all my heroes died, you know. I'm like, the Janis Joplin, yay, dead. Yep, you know, 27. Like, yeah, 27. I'm like, okay. What do you think of Michelle Williams playing her in the movie? You know what? She's a great actress, She's a but great I don't actress. Know. So many people have, don't even count on it. That movie, oh, it I don't happen. think it will You're ever right. get made. Yeah. I was up every, for it. Every woman's I was been up attached for 94. to it. You'd be amazing! <laughs> and people keep saying, why don't you do it? I was like, she died when she was 27. I'm 55. Yeah. <laughs> There's a point where it's like, you know, nobody's going to believe it anymore. You know, so. so yeah, let's um, throw on some of that young age makeup. Yeah, so I didn't smoke much until, but, I, but my first time I was 20, no, I was 8. 18. Oh, my, I was going to say eight. I was like, yeah. No, 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 no. 18. Woo. I was in Boston, and and a gal walked me home from the bar I was playing in, I think, yes. And uh. we stopped on a stoop, and she pulled out, and I, I was like, oh, well, hey, all right. And, and I, like, took a hit. Well, that, and you I, took a hit. Let's yeah, recreate it. Yeah, I took a hit. It. What? <laughs> That's what? I need okay. to see. I need to envision right. it. And I, well, it was very small. You remember everybody, you would smoke one joint for, like, a month? Oh God! It would you take know, forever. It would just go in, yeah. and you just spoke little tiny little bits, yeah, and, yeah. and the roach, Save and you it. just get as low as you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it was like teeny tiny, and I just took one little. Oh, I'm there. Hit. I'm and the, the world went away. You know, not the world went away, but the, it, it, and it kind of scared me. And I think that's what happens to people that, that smoke for the first time. A lot of people have a bad experience because all mm -hmm. of a sudden, paranoia. Well, all of a sudden, your whole that that whole part of the world, that whole balance that that is not part of our you know, society now. We're all problem solving consciousness. Right. All of a sudden you smoke this and and your right side of your brain comes on and you, you go, whoa, and, and it can really scare you for the first time. Right, that's why I think scary. like when a lot of uh, older folks, yeah. senior citizens try it for the first time, they slide into it a little easier the first time because it's already they already recognize that it's helping them with whatever pain yeah. that they have. But a young person, you're only going to get the paranoia part. And you're going to get the paranoia. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, this isn't for me, and then maybe never do it again. So my right. point is, everyone needs to try a second time. Yes. Try a second indeed. time. Indeed. Or don't, because there'll be more for us. Right. Yeah. My well, dad. Always. Oh, God. Anybody no, that just doesn't want to try it, good for you. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Don't be a pot smoker. My dad tried it for the first time. We went to this camp in, in New Hampshire, and uh, he was panicked about it, because it wasn't dry yet. It was fresh stuff, so it still needed oh, to dry yeah. a little. Yeah. And, and my dad had gotten a little taste prior. And he's like, well, we got to get some more. we got to get some more. I'm like, yeah. it's not dry yet. So he went and got a hair dryer and was drying off Cure the weed. Hair dryer. Wow. <laughs> drying it off of the weed. And then cut to him a few hours later with bocce balls shoved in his shorts, yelling that he was Tom Jones. Yeah! Love you, Joe Peluso. <laughs> So no, that's Jones a, is an interesting choice of a name. Joe Peluso. Now he, oh, Tom you thought my Jones. dad's name was Joan? I thought you said Jones. <laughs> she said Tom Jones. Oh, Tom Jones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. You did say Tom Jones is. <laughs> yeah, it's he good, isn't yeah. it? But it Jones, is good. He, Jones, he was Jonesing for weed. <laughs> oh, I get it. And then it. he's talking about Tom Jones. Oh, okay. Wow. And keeping up with the Joneses is in theaters October twenty first. <laughs> oh man, this shit hit me.
Yeah, I told you that's good strong. Stuff. I tried that's to good. warn you that's strong shit. It's really good. I'm having a good time. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I'll keep going. Yeah. Because um, we got it. <laughs> I got it all written down, so I don't. I can be as, as high as possible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what the cards are for. So I just go to the next card, see what happens. Uh -huh. uh, and we, I like to talk about, uh, you know, a campaign that I started a, a few years back, uh, Pot the Vote, mm. where you know, Rock the Vote is cool. You probably have always been a part of that. Yeah, but uh, Pot the Vote is, you know, another way to look at it because there's nine places, nine states where someone can vote on November eighth. Yeah. Uh, to determine the future of recreational or uh, medical marijuana. Five of them are for recreational. Yeah, like, and they're legal. wild. And, that's and it, dope. nationwide is polling at 57% think it should be legal. That's great, man. Yeah, and then like 20 something percent does, are think turn it should knockers. Be. And then there's undecideds. I mean, they're um, probably high. <laughs> they, they gotta, I'm just too high to decide. <laughs> I'm not sure. If what I get, just did is legal or not. <laughs> Well, That's why I think the whole the whole society has been so. I mean, you you are you're raised that it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, and so you start smoking in this. I am outside of what's right, right? Yeah, what's, what's legal, and so it. I remember the first time I went to Amsterdam, and I walked in, and I'm like, oh my god, people are smoking. They're just sitting there, and you order it, and you and yeah, it's and amazing. It's the first time you don't think, oh, I'm going to be punished, or somebody's going to come get yeah. me. And, and people just don't bring children into those places. Oh, yeah, no, it's like a bar. And there's yeah. never a fight in there because no. they sell alcohol too. No, they don't sell alcohol in there. No, Amsterdam. I've, but I've had Amsterdam. alcohol in some places. Like bars sell, will sell you weed in Amsterdam. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you're, so you're sitting there drinking it. But that also, they've been kind of going back and forth because the, the government doesn't necessarily want it to be legal, even though it's great for tourism. It's crazy. It's crazy. And so everyone's looking at America. They always look at America to, you know, to see what's where yeah, to go. We could Especially really get this, this thing going. We, we if could we internationally. We could turn it. And you know what's going to happen? When California goes legal, that's going to affect Mexico. It trickles it all, yeah. And you're going to see Mexico all of a sudden come to grip. It's been in a drug nightmare yeah. for 30 years, a nightmare. And if if we all of a sudden look at the the drug war as over, it's a bad thing. It was bad. It was, you know, uh, ethnic, ethnically, it was just. It's just a, it's a really bad thing. Yeah. And let's stop that. And that's going to change everything around here. And all of a sudden, Mexico, Central America, South America is going to, it's going to be a ripple effect. And it's going to yeah. be really cool. Restaurants will be booming. I mean, business will be up. People will yes. be eating. See? <laughs> Open yeah, a restaurant. Yeah, well, clearly nothing has gone wrong with legalizing in Colorado. There's, uh, in fact, it's, most statistics are, you know, things are down. There's less children trying it. Yeah. There's less crime. It's uh, it's great. So let me do let me do we'll do a couple of them and then we'll go to the first our first commercial break because uh, this is this is already flying by, um, <laughs> uh, flying high. Okay. Arizona, <laughs> Arizona says you got to vote yes on Prop two hundred five. Come on, two hundred five. Come yes. on, do flag it. staff. Do it. Just to name one city, uh, California. It's yes on Prop sixty four. Yes. Maine, it's yes on the Maine marijuana legalization measure, so that's not going to be hard to find. You don't even have to remember a number on that one. Oh, it's also it's known as question one for recreational <laughs> marijuana. And I promise you, Maine, I will do a show in Maine uh, almost immediately if you legalize it. And then uh, Massachusetts, which I've already felt Boston's pretty, uh, you know, yeah. they've decriminalized it. But uh, the whole state of Massachusetts, question number four for recreational. Oh, and I'll do one more. Uh, Nevada, uh, vote yes on question two for recreational marijuana. And then pronounce it Nevada or Nevada, and don't <laughs> worry about it. Because Trump thinks it's one or the other, and it's, <laughs> both are fine. It's not like Illinois. That's the one that's wrong. All right, so uh, we're going to be back with more fun with these two fine ladies after these messages. <laughs> Guys, you don't need to choose between price and quality to get an amazing and affordable shave. DollarShaveClub.com's the answer. To prove how amazing their shave really is, right now they're going to give you your first month free to join the club. DollarShaveClub.com delivers amazing razors right to the door 
for a third of the price of what the greedy razor corporations charge. Seriously, I have no reason to deal with the drugstore hassle and battle the locked up razor fortress ever again. And neither will you when you join the club. Just go to dollarshaveclub.com and pick a razor that works for you from their lineup of amazing blades. That's all there is to it. Get a first class shave with the executive blade and use it with Dr. Carver's shave butter. The blade just gently glides for the smoothest shave ever. With Dollar Shave Club, you can look, smell, and shave like a million bucks without paying for it. Here's a chance to see why over 3 million members love Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is so confident in the quality of all their products, now you can get your first month of the club for free. Just pay shipping. After that, it's just a few bucks a month. No long-term commitment, no hidden fees. There's no reason not to do it. Get yours at dollarshaveclub.com slash Benson. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Benson. People think I don't like China. I love China. I sold an apartment for $55 million to a Chinese gentleman. He's got foreign policy. He's got experience on TV. He's got towers made of gold. His thoughts on the Mexican shore are bold. They're rapists. Everything is gonna be glassy in 2016 through 2024. The only one is China. Yeah, Trump and Trump, Trump and China. Yeah, the man for the job. And he's gonna be the president, and, and certainly, certainly I trust him to be the leader of the free world. Hey, we're back. <laughs> 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 it's like a real show, but yeah. everyone's real high. And yeah. Just we were talking. I wasn't saying anything, but uh, you guys were talking about uh, weed the whole time, and. Uh, not Prop 64. It's and... an exciting subject, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really happy that it's, I think it's going to pass. And it's legitimizing the yeah. business, and it's regulating it. That's a, For the people that, you know, are worried about it as a crime, this is what happens when you regulate something, when you bring it into the market, then it takes it out of the hands of the criminals, and it be, and there's a lot of good business people that want to do this right. And there's issues like in Ohio that it didn't happen this last time because it was there was like ten rich people that would have yeah. had a conglomerate on all all the weed there. Oh, oh I know. So that that hurt <laughs> a lot of people. Them. So it didn't pass. Yeah. But you yeah. know it's interesting yeah. that everyone was able to understand the intricacies of that and vote against it. You know because I kept having people say vote no, vote no in Ohio, and I was like, yeah, but if it's legal, people. Well, people won't be incarcerated. Yes. You know, that's which, which is the a lot of number money. one reason to legalize it. To yeah, me. not just yes, but yes. The the ten greedy people getting there's, all the weed business is pretty is, bad. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> it's indeed. like every other business in this country. But it's it's I think it's cool, like once this happens, it'll put forth more of a movement in the medicinal area where yes. it can be infiltrated into our westernized medicine. And that's what that's where my brand actually really is uh, focused is the wellness because I, I went through breast cancer I went through chemo I used it instead of pharmaceuticals for for appetite for yeah. to sleep for pain relief all these things I mean there's story after story of medicinally and that's oh, what veterans and PTSD you, oh, it's and it's just, come on it's yeah. it's so that's that's the 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 main focus of the Etheridge Farms line is is to be medicinally it's 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 to have precision cannabis to have to medical that people can know exactly you know dosage and such. Yeah. What was the catchphrase awesome. for Pepperidge Farms? Was it like Pepperidge Farm? <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers, right? The guy that and it's Etheridge Farms. Yeah. Yes. So we go Etheridge Farms. Uh, Temporarily. <laughs> Temporarily. Forget. Yes. We'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the four places states, these are crazy ones. These are ones I'm very proud of these states for even having it on the ballot. Arkansas, Florida, North Dakota, and Montana all have medical measures, and you just have to find it and vote yes for it. Yeah. They're all, at least they're all vote yes. I hate when it's like vote no when you want when you something didn't, no, to happen. That's what happened. That's what they did to us gays. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> they did. They did, they did on it to eight, you. It was like, no, yes on eight, no on eight. What is it? It's oh. true. It was really, yeah, just no on hate is what I said. Yeah, the Make way you easier. said that. I know. That's what they did to us gays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, with the other way around, you can't just go, that's what they did to the gays. That's right. inappropriate. Yeah, right, yeah. but I can say that. Yeah, you never can, say anything I can inappropriate say dyke, when I can you're say high. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> I want your gangster, Melissa Edwards. I have to go back, <laughs> I have to, go back to talking Thank about you. Amsterdam and Holland to, to mention dykes. That's the only uh, way so I can get away with exactly. it. Exactly. No, we come down on you. We, we're, we don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see how you feel about some current pot topics. Mm -hmm. hot topics. We always have a like ton this. of them because there's so much going on in the news with yeah. weed all the time now. So hopefully we can fly through some of these. Uh, the UK is getting on board mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, they've done some studies over there and they've decided that it, it can unquestionably cause harms to individuals in society, but that it does have some uh, restoring, correcting, or modifying effects on physiological functions. So basically, they're like admitting, yeah, it like, seems to stop seizures in children. Yes, they, that's where everybody <laughs> starts. Is that, and then they're okay. They got to grow. But, and, and isn't it crazy that you can, how many rehab places are filled with alcoholics? You know, people that have trouble with alcohol or people that are on Oxycontin, you know, people mm -hmm. that the prescription drugs. All the medicine. Yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. The medicine cabinets yes. are more dangerous than yes. weed yes, by, yeah. by far. Yet it's weed that has the, oh, we have to keep that illegal because there's so many. Where'd you get what? that? You got that from the it, ground? I know. There's no so reason. That, there's no good <laughs> so, argument for uh, keeping it illegal. I, I, other it's, than it's always been illegal. Exactly. Other than that's, that's the way we were taught. Yeah. And that Reefer Madness movie really did a number on, on my parents, you know. And, yeah, and it did a number on me, and yeah. then, that's, then it, so it goes down. There. Yeah, no. Just, Look how mad we are on Reefer. I know, we're Get killing each crazy. other. Get Grandma high, you guys. <laughs> Get Grandma high, and this whole thing oh. is going to change. Oh, my God. Maybe Lord. even stumper, stubborn old Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpas that don't smoke weed are just mean people. <laughs> there needs to be more Grandpas high. That's a good yes. point. Mm -hmm. I think there should be a movement. Grandpas high. Yeah, high grandpas. and not a Grandpa bowel movement, we, but like no, a better one. No, see, she went there. <laughs> I was just going to say, Grandpa, right in and start the movement. Come yeah. On. This is a really complicated one, but it basically says that just uh, people are, uh, you know, they're, old, they're more active in the workforce to an older age if they're smoking weed. Life is just a lot better. Right? You, you, you don't mind going to work every you day if you're high. You don't mind going to work. <laughs> you don't care about your boss. You don't care because about anything. Because you understand it's not about, it's not about the lie. It's not... It, I think when you don't when you don't understand cannabis, when you haven't partaken in it regularly to a point where you you start your consciousness starts going, whoa, this is I can actually live in this place. I don't have it's not a place I just have to go to every now and then. So you get out of the problem solving consciousness, and all of a sudden work is oh, it's something I want to do. I want to create something. And yeah, so I'm, so it uh, changes your whole life because your thought changes. I have 17 different podcasts that nobody wants to watch. <laughs> but uh, you, you have know, a lot of fun. Because they're mostly audio. That's why they don't watch them. But <laughs> you're going to love this, this pod topic because uh, Amoeba Music, a great music oh, store that yeah. still sells you know vinyl, and they probably yeah. have a cassette section even. Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> My kids actually went, What's a cassette? Oh, They're my not God. That's a wild. Yeah, those clue. things are gone. But uh, Amoeba Music in Berkeley has uh, been granted a marijuana dispensary license. That's and amazing. So they're going to be a record store and a weed dispensary. Oh, that's all a, that's in one cool. spot. That's one stop shopping. They won't let us to uh, beat the you band. Can't, you can't amazing. smoke in a dispensary yet. Yeah, but, they got to work on that. Wouldn't it be great if they then let them actually smoke and you listen to records yeah, and you just chill, oh, just chilling? That's my idea of a place to go. I smoked in dispensaries a lot when they first started yeah. in California because there kind of were no rules initially. Yeah. Like it took a minute for them to go. Maybe we maybe should. The first. It California make any sense. was the first. It's not there. Just smoke it there. You can go fifteen no, no, feet down the street. You have to go hide. Oh my because lord! Because we're supposed to be, you know, ashamed of it. Uh, he hasn't done this show yet, but my buddy Pete Davidson, who's on uh, SNL. Yes, I know Pete Davidson. Uh, very a young, tall cast member of SNL. Uh, he's He tried to quit pot for a while recently, and uh, I think he basically had to get back into it because of his Crohn's disease. Oh, oh yeah. He's so and good. Uh, yeah. he really found that that's the only thing that helps him. So he kind of smokes all day long, but he's still hilarious. When I see him do stand-up, I cannot believe how funny he is and how tight his act is, yeah. knowing that he's high out of his mind most of the time. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and so he's a really uh, outspoken advocate and... Uh, Appearing regularly on TV and not going to lose his job over it. You know, they're not going to fire him Something. for that. Because that I would hope. be, <laughs> from Saturday Night Live, that would be really hip, hypocritical.
hypocritical. It, if they did. Would. <laughs> that would be on, insanely hypocritical. Yeah. Been made if people weren't it's almost become yeah, a exactly. place for talented people to go and not get fucked up. Like it's kind of a sober gang these days. I mean, yeah, they I, they oh, all have yeah, their vices, yeah. but it's not about drinking Wait, and was, drugging. And, I don't think there's any cocaine going on there I, oh anymore. Oh my god. That no, you don't no, think, no cocaine. No cocaine. No cocaine. Well, they have to do those all nighters, so you never know if they might use it for that. But I really hope not. There's Red Bull now. Oh god. Gives you wings. <coughs> we need them to be a sponsor on this show. I was just going to say, are they a sponsor? Did you nope. drop a freebie? No, I just gave them a freebie. You're welcome. Oh, they Red really Bull. needed it, too. Nobody yeah, likes right. Red Bull. The Wall Street wouldn't work without Red Bull. Oh, that stuff That's is killing people. nasty. No, nasty. Yeah. Yeah, great. Now, now we're helping Red Bull. You now guys just need to after us. Now they're coming after us. <laughs> you just need some average farms. Yeah, exactly. I get, I get why people like it. I just don't like the taste of it. You know, I'm, I would, you know, I'd rather drink a car battery. Think, yeah, it's then. gross. It's it's not it's not a good flavor. I worked with this lady who used to drink six of them in the morning. Joan with the shakes, we called her. Oh, that's it's that's she, really she get all unhealthy. Jacked up I mean, that's it. seriously unhealthy. It is. She pulled the shit. And out it's of a, a lot of sugar, and it's it's kind of a lie that you get more you get more energy falsely, and then it's going to take and you, you further down. Yeah. And you're but gonna people need... love that temporary. Oh. You know, they that love they, to just get that jolt. And that you can buy. You can buy that on the corner, but you can't buy this. I'm sorry. It's yeah. wild. Well, it's, it's like, that's okay. And you could give it to changing. your kids if you wanted. Ah, absolutely. <laughs> Damien Marley, that name sounds familiar yeah. in the world of marijuana. Uh, Marley's son. Who's that? He's in partnership with Ocean Grown Extracts and is converting a former 77,000 square foot California state prison into a cannabis grow space. Amazing. <laughs> uh, amazing news of the day. And then they're going to bring the prisoners back in. <laughs> And they're going to tend to all the weed. Oh, that's so great. Because that would be a thing. Teach them in prisons how to cultivate weed. They have a good that, job when they get out. Yeah. I think that's a, there's a, there's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of economic plus side to legalizing weed. No, it's crazy. And that's what, so that's why jobs. it's weird that it's yes. moving so slowly, oh, is that you think politicians would go, look at all this money. Yeah. Look at how much it will help our state. Huge. That's why California has to do it this year economy, because yeah. we need the money. Gavin Newsom <laughs> has been really great behind this. I, I mm -hmm. think everybody here in California should know. I and, think so. I think he follows me on Twitter. I was like, what? Yeah, he's the one who put together this Proposition 64 that they, they, they researched for a couple of years to put this in. And they talked to all the growers, all the dispensaries. They talked to everybody here and put a very comprehensive, it's a huge, like, 64 but everybody's thing. happy with it. Yes. I, in the past, yes. growers have been angry yeah, about legalization because yeah. that's how they be able to keep their jobs going yeah. and not, maybe not pay taxes and all yeah, that. So, he, so when he runs for governor, I really <coughs> we should really, really understand that he's done a lot for this. Yeah, I that's, think he'd be a great governor. That's dope. Yeah. Um, all right, one more. Mm -hmm. How are we doing on time? We good? Uh, according to a new USC <laughs> dorms life, <laughs> with a Z, right? Dorms? Dorms with, with an S, but... Oh. <laughs> Dorns? Dorns? Dornsife? Dornsife? What is that? Is that just the name of a USC pollster? Dornsife. Seafood. And Los Angeles Times. Proposition 64. Oh, I kind of said this earlier, uh, with 57% of the country being into weed. Here in California, it's backed by 58%. That's currently. Awesome. But that's still a little... Still they got to go vote, 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 vote. It's all saying vote. yes. Got to pot the vote, yeah. Look how great we are up here, guys. Yeah, vote for it. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah, I don't think anybody's watching this that's not, that's not for voting for, yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> There's people that don't want to choose between the Hillary or Bill. Hillary or Bill. Billary. Hillary or Trump. <laughs> Uh, they don't want to <laughs> choose between the two candidates, so they uh, they might not go vote at all. And I say, if you're in any of the mm. nine states that I listed Please earlier, do. go vote for that. You don't. You can leave things blank. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just vote. You know, you don't have to. It's not one of those tests where you have to answer every question yeah. or you get penalized. Exactly. We need P Diddy again. Remember, P Diddy made voting cool. We need P Diddy to like oh. team up with Snoop Dogg. He did. Yeah. He made it cool. I, Rock mi the I missed that. <laughs> 2008, man. He was trying to get everybody to vote. He was Rock the Vote? He, well, he was he was a big advocate for that movement. I thought somebody else started Rock the Vote. Maybe like, it was Ciroc. Like Bruce Springsteen or somebody. No. It might have just been vodka and not voting. Who knows? Are there any musicians, famous ones you know, that like smoke with you, but they like still want to keep it under their hat? Or are musicians pretty much free and clear from, uh, you know, You know, it's judgment? funny. Yeah, musicians, we kind of... It, it, 
Nobody cares nobody if somebody cares. a rock star yeah. smokes weed. They, yeah. they just hope they don't, you know, go overboard with everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it's it's a it's a big thing like in the studio. It's a it's you can tell what music is powered by cannabis and what music is not, you know. Right. What music is powered by Red Bull and caffeine, you know. You have yeah. The, no, that stuff you hear in an <laughs> elevator in a W <laughs> hotel. Yeah, that yeah. crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the 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 cannabis you can hear. That's that's all the like the the really slow rap. This you know you hear it all over your J Cole and and, I love, and yeah. Frank Ocean. You're like you know you know that's what he's you know you know that, you know that's what he's doing. So that's they're saying true. all ages, races, incomes, and gender. It, it reaches across everybody yeah. in that 58 percent that say they're for it, and they think it's because California's gotten to watch uh, California, uh, Colorado, Colorado, and Washington, and Oregon, and, and Alaska. And we're jealous. And see how and it's they're working. making money. Yeah, everybody's yeah. happy. Yeah, and what not it's to an, do? There was a lot of society. mistakes. Law enforcement probably loves it. Not it's having secretly. to just not having to deal with hotheads. I mean, the angrier ones still want to bust a pothead. It, yeah, right. But, see, yeah, but they but can find something else to bust you for. It's funny because law enforcement is always comes out on the side of no, like against it. Yet, secretly they'll go, oh well, yeah, of course it's fine. You know, it's just pot. And again, You're that's like, well, probably top law enforcement. Yeah. Are just scared. In, it's Everyone's always scared. been illegal the whole time they've been in law. Yeah, so, yeah, they, so it's hard to kind of shift people's thought. But we can yeah. do it. We can just. We can it's do okay. it. Just if we try, high who just the, the two of us. <laughs> get them all high. Just, you and I. You get to see the changes, though. You have a benefit because you can see what happens. Like you were talking about, like what choices not to make as well, like having Etheridge Farms because you're in the precipice yeah. of the transition. So you can Speaking see of transitions, yeah, are... it's pretty crazy. Transitions. What? Uh, I think we got to go to another commercial break. Oh, that oh. Can you believe how fast this goes? Yeah. There's only one more break, and then it's wild. We're back. You get a little special surprise if you've never seen the whole show. Uh, we'll be right back. I was sitting there like freaked out, and the writer, it was Seth Meyers running, came with a script, hands it to me, slams it, you know, and I'm like, and I'm like shaking, and there's no video. Oh, it's awful. And Jen is like, there's no video. Just, I point to you, just start talking. So she points to me, and I read the thing again. I trip over a couple words. It's a long thing. It was like three pages, and I trip over some, you know, I'm doing it, and I finish. Oh. And I sit down, and Pardo is in the booth with me the whole time. And I sat on his lap, and he goes, he goes, hey, get off of me! <laughs> Don, I'm sorry. And then he went, it's Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I was like, Don, you were there the whole time. <laughs> like the whole time, I was shitting my pants. Like, oh fuck, Don was just sitting there, like an old elevator attendant, you know, like, <laughs> like, like, waiting to do his thing, and then get back on. A plane to Florida. You know. <laughs> this all started because a group of friends gave me far too much confidence. So <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing. Just, I was just like saying, like, you're the best. You're I was so, so hilarious. Funny, you're funny. funny. I lived with like seven other girls my junior year in a, in a house called Tequila Mockingbird because you name all the houses at Miami After University. Booze, duh. And I would just like I'd come home and then I'd stand in the living room and essentially like. Regale them with my day, and they're like, "Ah, oh, there's no money." And oh so they're God. like, "You should do stand-ups." I like, just enough people told me that. By the time senior year rolled around, I was like, "You know what? I'll crash this open mic at this bar called Balcony," and um, fifty of my closest friends came out and just made me think that I was way better at stand-up comedy than I was. This is the best. That's a great yes. start. Some people are like, "Stand-ups hard. First couple times you're gonna bomb." I'm like, "I, was I a killed star." <laughs> Uh, yeah, it wasn't until my first paid gig that I was like, oh, wow, well, this is reality, huh? <laughs> I feel bad taking your money. Yeah. You only have to give it water once well, a week. It's, not, it's so special. I hate to break it to you, <laughs> a band that submitted that return music, professional <laughs> musician Melissa Etheridge didn't even listen to it. We were talking about succulents. She's talking about succulents. <laughs> we were talking about which we love succulents. Oh, no. It's oh, we were, gardening. The band? we're talking about gardening. 
Yeah, people <laughs> submit music that comes oh. back in. This one is a real rocking out version. I, Dang, see, sorry. I, I heard it. We I also was, had sound yeah, issues was, in the room. Oh. I, I got too loud at one oh. point. So. We were, we were That's a really succulents. cool thing to do. We'll listen again next week. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun, you know. It's we little, just ruined I would have sent it in. I would have sent you it's my It's not going to kill anybody if somebody submits something terrible. Yeah, if you want to submit something. Okay. Do you play the I got lots stuff? of old demos from 1980. We play what people send us, you know. It's not like we get a million of them. You got to, yeah, you can send them like a secret track or something. So now that everybody's really high, uh, we like to uh, give you a little, she's been through it before, uh, we'd like you to watch a magic trick. Your face is like, what is this? Comes, what, what did I okay. get into? Oh, no. game. <laughs> I should have watched the show all the way Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, oh I like your shirt. Yeah. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you mind helping me first, Jessamy? Sure. <coughs> okay, pick a card, any card. Love card. Right here. Yeah. Want okay, me to take, take it? it? Yeah, show it to Melissa, show it to the camera. Good? Okay. All right. I'm going to do this. Place it back anywhere you want. Is that good? Okay. Check this out. I just snap my fingers. One card. One card alone. Actually changes pink. And there was a black one. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> watch. You're too honest. Don't watch. Don't watch. Don't watch. Don't watch. No. You can't. There it is. Oh. Okay, there it Put is. Put your hand out, though. Oh, I thought you were giving me a high five. <laughs> All right. Oh, check it out. I'm going to place that right okay, there. The Put your other one. hand on top. Okay, Melissa, anytime you want, tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there, take a look at that card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do the same thing. Snap my fingers. One card. One card only. One card only. It turns the... pink. Don't. Don't you do. I will slap you in the Wait, face. Do you see a pink card? No, I don't. Yeah, there's what? there's only one pink oh. card here. Let me turn that one over. How did you do that? <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Yay. Doing it to the... Stoners. Wait, wh yo, how does that happen though? You, you, the the mistake was a joke. You were just messing with me. Gabe's gonna be with uh, Honey Farm at DTHC. What's that? The Downtown Highway That's Collective. Wild. That's right. Okay, uh, this Friday from three to six. Downtown Ooh. Highway Collective. That was like under an overpass or something. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> very, very well named. Every, every pot store should just be named. I wore a block away from Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that music we heard after the break was by Stephen underscore Peters. Hmm. Sorry, uh, Stephen. On social media. Go listen we'll try it again next week, probably, or next time. I think the next show is going to be uh, sooner than a week. <laughs> I think it's going to be Monday. But let's do some plugs for you guys because it's so nice of you to come down and you can smoke a little more if you want. I, sure. I'll take one more. Yeah. I'll take a bong rip before we go That's out. Cool. Yeah, that and, is nice. Um, I like the face on it. <clears throat> Melissa's new album is a Stax tribute record called Memphis Rock and Soul, and it's available now. You've been out promoting it like crazy, right? Yeah, I got in a little trouble last week. You did? What'd you no, do? No, you no, 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 I'm good. If you didn't hear about it, then it's good. Uh, no, no. Oh. No, 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 it's you all good. You said something somewhere and they ran with it? Yeah, you know, that sort of thing. You, uh, get, yeah. you get, like, in, and I know so many context. people, and it was on a radio show, and I'm, you know, and you say something, and bam. And then they, and the more it gets told, the little more it gets twisted, and all yeah. of a sudden it's like, it's I'm being nasty. Well, you want to no, tell us no, what really happened? No, or no, you rather no, just not no, talk about it? I'd rather not talk about it at all. Yeah, I should have brought I, it up. I, I get it. it. After. I That's want to know a great after. reason to get high, if you <laughs> just could let go of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Instead of letting it drive you crazy. Then you come on this show. It's just a mellow pot smoky show. What did you <laughs> say? Tell us. Tell what, us. Did you, what? what did you tell someone? <laughs> that got you in trouble? <laughs> I know. Oh, You're real yeah. open with the audience in between songs and stuff when you play, right? Oh, you, yeah, you, like you should to come talk? see me play. It's, I would love that. I love music. You're back on love, tour. Yeah. Uh, go to melissaetheridge.com for yeah. dates and tickets. Uh, starting next week, you're back out on tour. Yeah. And then someday, Etheridge Farms <laughs> very soon, doesn't very remember. Soon. <laughs> doesn't can't remember at all. Don't remember. Etheridge <laughs> Farms is busy. Who are you? Not remembering. Uh, and Jesse May Peluso. Yeah. Parlor Live in Bellevue. That's a lovely uh, facility. It is. October 20th through 22nd. That's right. You've got your own podcast called Sharp Tongue. It's available on iTunes and on your website, jessemay.com. Yes, sir. And you also are tight with the organic medical Mary Jane company called Honey Bear Farms. Yes, they're they are here. They are they're here, they're hanging out, the show. supporting, clapping. Peeps. This has been a great crowd yeah. today. It's been amazing. It's felt like a real show. It did. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? What was it you were talking about during the break? 
Succulents. Succulents is the name of a restaurant? It's the name no. of our new band. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is, it the, is it the children of a succubus? Just, wow. <laughs> no, they're, they're the plants. They're the indigenous plants of, of California in the, in the they're southwest. They're amazing. Oh, okay. And it, they require not very much water. And now that there's just no water in California anymore, or in Southern California, um, you, know, you look at your yard, and succulents don't require much water, and they're really beautiful, and they're cool. They look like alien. Yeah, they, they're, they're very alien looking, <coughs> yeah. and you can take a piece of it off and plant it and get more, and it's, it's just a really shapes. cool. Did you hear anything we said? <laughs> <laughs> he just inhaled his weight and vapor. <laughs> I just started thinking about the fountain out here in front of the arc yeah. light that's a tiger. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, hey, I'm a tiger, and, um, or a lion. <laughs> but it's a, ah! it's like a fountain thingy where the water squirts up out of the ground, uh -huh. and it's just squirting all this water up over there. And every time I walk by it, I go, "Isn't there a water shortage in this state? Yeah. Why is this happening? There's some fountains. Is it that just recycle recycled? Itself. So it's just yeah. garbage water. Yeah, these yeah. kids are gonna play in. Because yeah, like, no, no. it's for kids to run around in. Oh. oh. Well then. Right? Yeah, hopefully there's a yeah. piss filter. It's one of them something. flat fountains you're supposed to walk through. Yeah. Flat fountains. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Disneyland or wherever has like all these amazing rides, but then they just have water squirting out of a hole, and the kids yeah. will play at that they just for hours. Back yeah. and yeah. Forth. Yeah. Exactly. That's the Harlem special. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. so high. We're so high. So, so much high. fun. I got high with Melissa fucking Yay! Etheridge. Yeah, you did That's it. It's amazing. Yeah, I'd love nice you to yet. tell me all about it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> You can find all my upcoming tour dates and all things Doug at DougLovesMovies.com. Follow me on Twitter. Oh, I'm going to be at the Irvine Improv. Here's a long pass uh, plug. <laughs> December 27th. Good for you. I'm going to... Work In case anybody's watching this two months from now. Right. Yeah, they'll have been home with their the family. They're like, and New Year's I need to blues. get away. Yeah. Yeah. You're, in, you're behind the orange curtain in Irvine. Yeah. Irvine's a great, great Come see me. president. December 27th. We've done cool things. That's yeah. a good room. Come see me at the Irvine Improv. Plus, lots of other dates are on my website. And our next show does look like it's going to be... A week from now. <laughs> Why'd you Wait, say that so today dramatically? Because I'm trying to figure out what today is. No, today's Wednesday. Wednesday, so it's one week from today. Will be our next show. Uh, time to be determined, but that always means wow. we have great Some guests yes. like Melissa Etheridge <laughs> and Jesse Mae Peluso when we uh, have to have the show at a very specific time. Thank uh, you to for please them. Me. Thank you thank so you. much for doing it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. <laughs>